Hi guys, so in the previous video, we have seen how we can use our own custom characters with the toolkit. The problem with custom characters is that we are bypassing the character studio and the head studio and using our own image assets. Of course, that would mean that we would lose all the features of the character studio, so there may be some users which would like to still use the character studio and its rig and the head animations etc. But would like to add a level of customization that is greater than what the toolkit offers. So for instance, you would like to add a new hairstyle to the character or add a different hand shape. You can do this by adding your own hand shapes that you design in external applications. So let's see how we can do this. Let's start for instance with the hair. If we open up this folder and go to character parts, inside head, we can see these following folders. Now basically, you can import your own custom objects for all of these apart from the eyes and head shapes. And even the mouth, you cannot import the mouth since you would need to use the mount that is included with the toolkit to use its features basically. So let's take the hair as an example, let's open this folder. And let's say I want to adjust this front hair volume in here to be something else. So I'm going inside the front hair volume in here. And as you can see, we have the front hair opened up in here. Now let's toggle the switch and what I'm going to do, I have a folder here with some custom assets that I have designed and I'm going to import the hair inside this folder. Now once this is imported all I need to do is simply drag and drop it over the hair in here. Make sure that you click this button so that you see all the other hairs and drag and drop it over there. Now I'm going to press S for scale and I'm going to scale it so that it fits right over this one. So I'm going to tweak it a little bit like this and make sure that it fits and is around the same size of this one. So that's it. Now if I go back to the head studio and go to the effect controls and select the head design studio in here, I can simply go to the hair, go to hairstyles and for the front hair, in here, give it a value one of one to remove the hair that comes with the toolkit. And as you can see now, I have this new hairstyle that I have imported. And this new hairstyle animates correctly with the head. So if I turn the head, as you can see, the hairstyle fits right in there with the head. So this is a very useful feature if you would like to customize certain assets of the toolkit. And once again, in this case, you can import new mustache, a new beard, a new ear, a new eyebrow, etc. So that's a feature that you have if you would like to use it. Now, apart from the head, hair and stuff related to the head, we can also change, for instance, the torso shape. So if we go to torso and we enter in here, if we go inside this composition named select torso, we can see that currently the toolkit has this following torso in here. If we would like to use a specific torso shape and that you cannot create with the toolkit directly, we can import our own torso shape here. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to import our own torso. So I have this torso shape, custom torso shape. I imported it right over here. And there we have it. And I'm simply going to import it over the other torsos. I'm going to scale it so that it fits correctly. So I'm going to press this button to see it properly. And I'm going to scale it so that it fits correctly in here. Now I'm going to turn off all the other torsos. I can retain the belly and chest so that if I would like to use them at a later stage, I can. And now I can go back to the character studio. Now, of course, right now you're not seeing anything changed. That's because I still have the, from the character studio, I still have the belly, which is at full size. So let's reduce that to zero. And now you can see that the character is using this this torso shape. The same way we can adjust the hands. So for instance, we can go to our project window, go to the arms. And if we go inside left arm, for instance, we can go to select left arm shape, enter inside of that, and we can simply import our own arm shape. And now simply drag and drop it inside the composition right in here and scale it accordingly so that it fits correctly in here. Now hide all the other layers. And if I go to 
to here I can see that this arm has been adjusted with the new arm shape. Now what I need to do of course, I need to give it the color of the skin. So I can get the color of the skin. Let's go to the arm shape in here and I'm going to bring a tint effect from here. Place it over the arm shape and let's give it a skin color. And there we have it. Now if I go inside Character Studio, I can see that the left arm now have this custom shape on it. And we can do the same with the legs, with the right arm, etc. And like this, we can customize the, the character further. Now I'm going to adjust the torso slightly in here. So if I go to Select Torso in here, I'm simply going to go to the torso shape in here and reduce its size. So, and move it a little bit down. Let's go back in here. And as you can see, that has been customized. We can even maybe move it slightly to the side in here. So the heads are right over there. And if we go inside the character studio, we can close the belly, close the shirt. We have almost all the functionality that works. Of course, since we're using a custom torso shape, we cannot customize the torso shape from here. But other than that, most of the functionality works in here. So for instance, if I go to arms, go to arm shape, I can reduce the distance. Like that, I can reduce the hand size, etc. So this is a very nice option if you would like to further customize your character in this way. Finally, let's take a look at all the places that you can customize like this. As we have seen, we can customize all the things in the head apart from the eyes and the mouth and the head shapes. Then from the torso, we can customize, of course, the torso shape. From the arms, we can customize the left and right arm shape. And from the legs, we can customize the left and right leg shapes. We can also customize the feet by simply entering a, a new feet inside the left foot or right foot.